What's good, guys? Obviously, I'm here to talk a little bit about Sephiroth before tomorrow. Uh, considering tomorrow we're gonna have a big Sephiroth like presentation with Sakurai. Um, you may also have been wondering where I've been, why it's taken me this long to make a video um, related to the whole Sephiroth thing. So basically, just to explain it as quick as I can before, so it doesn't take too much of the video. Um, I've been sick. I've been sick for a good while now. Um, and no, it, it's not what you think it is. It's not, you know, uh, Corona, COVID, Coronavirus. No, it's it's none of that stuff, right? It's um, just, uh, I'm just got it like, I, got, I don't know what you would call it, like a regular sickness <laughs> of sorts. Um, but it makes it very difficult to record. There's a good chance that I may have to cut this video up more than the typical video because of, you know, uh, coughing and takes like that so uh, I hope if this is cut up in such a way that it feels awkward I'm sorry but that's the best I can do at the moment but yeah so that's basically it uh, sorry for taking so long guys but to kind of just go straight into the Sephiroth thing I did want to say that I was very excited to see Sephiroth I'm very excited to see him uh, Final Fantasy 7 may not be my favorite RPG I have other RPGs that I prefer. I'm not even really that big of a Final Fantasy person, but there are like key specific Final Fantasy games I did enjoy, even if I did not necessarily love them. Uh, I would say the closest Final Fantasy game that I've loved was like Final Fantasy VI, um, but I did enjoy VI, I did enjoy VII, um, I did enjoy X to a certain degree, so you know, I, I have a, I guess, a positive relationship with Final Fantasy. I just don't consider them to be the best, I guess, RPGs ever. But that's not really the point. The point is, do I think Sephiroth is going to be cool? Um, I'm hoping to see what they, the, what the one-winged angel uh, form of Sephiroth will do. Uh, the best I can tell, looking at the video, is that there's a lot of moves that look like they can also belong to the same category right like i feel like he has uh a s different specials possibly uh depending if he's in that form or he's not right he had he had uh i don't really remember final fantasy spells off the top of my head but he had like the fireball explosive thing he had the that dark circle thing that surrounded link um it looked like when link tried to shoot an arrow it hit him so i'm assuming the way that dark spell move works is that you would if you try to use a projectile while it is on you it immediately hits you so it's like almost having like a reflector surround the character instead of surrounding the target like the person you would want to hit so it's almost like you can't use that move at all rather than you can't hit someone with that move which is interesting i think um i could be wrong that is a massive assumption as to whether or not that's you know how Sephiroth's um, dark circle move thing works, um, I'm also very curious to see how the range will come into play. Uh, I feel like there's just no way they will implement a character with a long ass sword like Sephiroth that does not have some kind of drawback to it. Whether that's end lag or uh, just slow frame data in general. And at the same time, I wonder if he'll actually have the range for everything right because it looks like he has the range for like what well, looks like smash attacks which makes sense like it's like on some ganondorf type shit where um he has moves that are very very high range for his sword but maybe just limited to like very specific moves right so he doesn't really have the range for like every type of situation more so moves that you would have to kind of like expect coming right but regardless i'm excited to see how this character works I'm very excited to actually have more Final Fantasy music because if there was anything I liked about Final Fantasy 7, it was character designs and music, right? Those are pretty much the two things that stuck out to me the most when it comes to that game. So like, I like how Sephiroth looks. I like how Cloud looks, right? I like the music for this game. Like I like One Winged Angel, for instance, right? And there's a bunch of other tracks that I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but those are the two things that really stuck out to me when it comes to Final Fantasy VII. And when we only got like two tracks when Cloud came in, it was obviously pretty disappointing. It became like an on ongoing joke for like years about the Final Fantasy series on Smash. Um, 
So seeing Sephiroth there is exciting because now that means we're definitely going to at least get one winged angel, right? Alongside probably a good amount of other tracks. I'm hoping it is a lot of tracks, right? Because I feel like they have to kind of make up for the fact that Cloud came with only two. And who knows, maybe Square Enix this time around will give us a lot more tracks. Because if you look at, say, the Dragon Quest representation, we got a lot more than just two songs. Not like a ton, right? Like there wasn't like a ton of new music. I want to say like it was a lot more than Final Fantasy, but it wasn't like, you know, as much as say like Castlevania or like SNK uh, gave Smash when they when their characters got in. Um, but I think it will be more than two. Like I think it will definitely be more than two. I want to say like maybe as a guess, uh, maybe like eight to ten, I think makes sense. Um, I would like it to be more, again, just to make up for the fact that Cloud came in with only two. Um, but that's how much I'm expecting, like about eight to ten songs. I'm hoping the songs are also, you know, not just Final Fantasy VII, but I feel like they're going to be. Because, yeah, I know Sephiroth, when, when it came in, it basically said, like, oh, Final Fantasy VII uh, crossing over with Smash Bros. Ultimate. But at the same time, it also said that for joker coming with persona 5 and it still into they still brought in persona 4 and persona 3 music right i think the same thing could be said for dragon quest if i remember correctly like it showed the logo for uh dragon quest 11 but it didn't just have music from dragon quest 11 and then again i think like dragon quest reuses a lot of music too i'm just excited <laughs> i'm basically just really excited for this game i've been sick for a while so I wanted to do a reaction so badly, but I could not do it because if I did it, all you all you would hear is just like me being gross, <laughs> and I, I I don't want I didn't really want to upload a video if that's what it was gonna sound like. Um, I'm feeling better now, which is why I'm making this video now, um, and I'm making this video as quick as I can so I can talk to you guys about the whole Sephiroth thing while I still can because tomorrow we're gonna have this presentation. Um, Hopefully I feel better enough to live stream the presentation. I'm not quite sure yet, but I mean if you guys see me live then you'll know um, If not then uh, I'm sorry uh, I really hope I can do it though because I I'm really excited about it and Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess just let me know how you guys feel about Sephiroth Let me know if you think he's gonna be broken if you think he's gonna be balanced well uh, if you're a huge fan of Final Fantasy 7 or not uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just let me know in the comments down below, and until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Shifty, yeah. Shifty, wanna be yeah. the number one gamer? Come yeah. and get me. Yeah. It'd be dope yeah. if you subscribe. Could you yeah. like the vid, please? Yeah. Take yeah. your time, you don't gotta do it swiftly. Uh.